Good morning everybody. Welcome to this week's ETF review and in particularly we'll look at the spider, the S&P 500 sector. Okay, so we're going to look at the market and we're going to look at the, the uh, sub-sectors to the, uh, the major sector ETFs. So there's a few of them and we're going to go through some of the charts. We'll look particularly at uh, what the MACD and the Mobile Clouds uh, from a technical analysis standpoint is telling us. Let's start with the overall market in terms of the S&P 500, the spider ETF there. Let me just resize the screen here and make it a little bit smaller. Yeah. So we can see uh, overall we still, you know, in a medium term uptrend, we now close to major alt resistance areas. So we can see if we just highlight these areas here on the chart, we can see we're back here at major 211 resistance zone. So we need to break out from that uh, from that trading range. We've recently had a MACD buy signal on this index, so so far so good. We had a successful rebound off the top end of the Ichimoku cloud, tells us the uptrend there is still in place. And if we cross check with the front end of the cloud, we can see there is still uh, upside potential in the market. We still don't have an early warning signal of uh, any market downturn. So we're right there at a critical point in the market where we need to break past this major top end resistance zone. So we have a double bottom here within this trading range. What's happening on the weekly chart? We can see uh, we've had a tremendous good rally from 2013, 14, and then 15 has been somewhat of a sideways moving pattern. What I'm worried about is these big uh, trading ranges in terms of the market. That uh, you know, it, it's, it's a lot of um, a news events driving or drove these uh, price corrections last year and the beginning of this year. So. I'm concerned about the wide uh, uh, daily ranges, which doesn't really sh uh, give you an indication of comfort in terms of um, market, and also gives you an indication that there's quite a lot of volatility present in the market. Okay, but from a positive side, we're forming a, a very long consolidation period. Yeah, double bottom base, bottom end of the base undercuts the the left one, so that's a good uh, plus point, and we now need to break past these uh, resistance areas. Yeah, so we're still not at the major uh, top year that we had in uh, May of last year. Uh, so we're still going to retest that high. So I'll be watching out the 213 area. So there's still some upside in in the market and any correction in terms of downside risk would be on back to the top end of the cloud there. So if you're not in the market already or didn't act on these MACD signals at the bottom end there, you could look at them when we get to this resistance area and the market can't break past that, you then get a MACD sell signal and that would be a sell back route down to the top end of the cloud at 201 and then the other cloud support at 197, roughly that zone. If we look at that on a daily chart basis, you can see we have pretty much an indication as to where this current rally can, can run into trouble uh, around the 211 area and the 213 area. So there's still a couple of points to be made on that uh, going to the upside. If we had to break out here, yeah, I would think this type pattern is you break right out and you'll come back to retest. So we might have a nice little rally pop until it finds resistance and then come back to retest this new 2-1-1 area. But it's still early days. We first need to see that break out past, uh, past the market there. Okay. So we now go back to our um, menu here. Yeah? So I've ranked them in terms of size of the ETF, because ETF is basically a fund, for those of you that uh, are not uh, with us, uh, always. Uh, the ETF is like an exchange, tra it's an exchange traded fund, and it's like an investment fund where you can buy shares in, and it mimics the indices and the sectors. So unlike futures, uh, where you have very high leverage, you can trade these without uh, significant leverage and therefore reduce your risk, and have the same type of exposure in terms of sectors that you would have had with certain futures instruments. Okay, the energy sector there also a bit of a sideways consolidation period in May. Need to break past this uh, resistance area there, so we're comfortable up until about that area there, and the top end of the cloud there is also an indication. Support is around there, bottom end of that cloud, and then the cloud up shadow, I say and then the front end of the cloud still indicate uh, good upside potential yeah but I'm a buyer at the top end of the cloud definitely a big buyer down here and I would be looking at uh, taking profits or uh, short selling around these areas here yeah, as it gets closer to resistance okay 
The financial sector, very similar, also looking the upside risk there, or upside potential, well, risk if you're short, but if you're long, uh, we've had a buy signal in MACD back here. It's still moving sideways. Potential downside is to retest the cloud for support here. That would be a nice entry point for a rebound back up uh, to the top end of the old cloud chart resistance, this area there. So we're waiting. We could see a MACD sell signal there, then it can drop back down to 23 and to the top end of the, uh, the cloud and then the bottom end of the cloud. So that's the key support zone, and that's your uh, uh, sell zone for the time being in terms of your weekly trades. Okay, but watch this one very closely for a MACD sell signal. Okay. I don't know why this uh, is not. Yeah. There we have a very nice uh, move in the healthcare sector. Fantastic buy signal back down here, MACD buy signal. We first had the rebound from the cloud, which is an early entry point, and then the second was confirmed by the MACD signal, so we're moving higher here. Yeah? We've broken past uh, that high there, that cloud resistance, so that's positive, and the next resistance area to test is that high. So now in this case, we're close to the top end of the trading range. I want to see what the daily chart looks, weekly chart looks like. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, we can see we rebounded from the cloud support here. Yeah? And the next significant resistance zone to look for is over there. Okay, so we have a, a comfortable rally in the healthcare uh, ETF up to about 74.78. So that's kind of where uh, I would be looking at taking some profits off the table. And then ultimately, that's the ultimate high there. That would be the next resistance area. But weekly chart, we now in a somewhat of an uptrend. Our front end of the cloud confirms that, so we're moving higher. And we've had a buy signal on the um, cloud chart here yeah, above the cloud, so that's positive. So we're moving higher on the healthcare ETF. Okay. Consumer staples there, very similar picture. We've had a nice uh, MACD buy signal right at the bottom here, a bit of a whiplash there. Another rebound on the top end of the cloud, fantastic entry point there in a MACD buy, for example. And then we have the top end there as the next resistance zone. So be on the lookout if you're long this ETF, be on the lookout for the resistance to come in at 54, 45 on a weekly chart. And then back to the daily, we can see we're in that uh, double bottom in a trading range. So we're looking for a breakout there, but so far so good. Had a buy signal there, upside potential up to about 54.50. So you would just time your entry point there. Uh, Nicely. Okay. Utilities there, breakaway gap. Um, weekly chart might give us a bit idea. Yep, yeah, we've broken away there. Uh, rebounded from the cloud. Note the uh, MACD gave a nice signal there at the bottom in the cloud. It broke through the cloud, cloud became support, and now we broke past that resistance area. So I think we should see a consolidation around here. Yeah? It uh, could come back to retest, uh, retest the uh, the cloud here for support or the top end of the cloud here, that area there. So just be aware that I uh, wouldn't necessarily buy this breakout. We're close to a MACD sell signal. So watch this. If we get a MACD sell signal here on the weekly, we could come back down to the top end of the cloud on a weekly basis to test uh, for support there. So this one looks a little bit uh, breakaway gap. Interestingly, a uh, gap might be closed and then it could be... Uh, it could be a buy there. When it bounces, rebounds off your 10 or 20 period moving average there, that might be a nice entry point there. But I would, uh, you know, didn't quite like this uh, breakaway gap in this case, for example. Okay. Then the industrial side of things here. Also, we've had a, a nice little MACD buy signal there, bouncing off the cloud. Uh, yeah. Let's just check what's uh, where the next resistance areas are. So we can see uh, those highs there. Top in the cloud there. So we're getting closer to resistance areas, but there's still upside potentials. Nice rebound from the top in the cloud. Watch the, the your, your MACD signal very closely. There's a couple of points still left in this one to trade. Double bottom, excellent. Uh, looks very much like the uh, S&P itself. Uh, if you look at the spider, double bottom base within a trading range. So watch out for the 58.16 area for uh, resistance. It was a nice buy signal here. Watch out for any type of MACD uh, signal that it could roll over. Then it could come back and retest uh, these lows here. But so far, you could trade this one to the upside. That's the industrial uh, ETF. Okay. Technology spider. Yeah, 
look at the volatility we had that was also Apple in there that drove uh, that was a big sell of uh, that scare last year so yeah the positive side is the front end of the cloud is is, is still uh, moving higher the the thickness of the cloud here is a little bit of a, a issue because we could see mean reversion going on here but uh, that's somewhat distorted by the uh, calculations from this big drawdown double bottom in a uh, base looking for a breakout here but we've had a tremendous run in in tech here uh, that's the resistance area to target support would come around there at the 42 40 level and back at the bottom of the cloud here at 40 with that as a significant support area but then by that time it's a significant correction but watch out the weekly chart we're closer to the resistance than we are at support so you could trade it up to the resistance area at 44.65 and then come back to the uh, daily one you know we've uh, had a MACD buy signal here within the cloud, got close to cloud chart support here, rebounded from cloud support, and now we've broken past the cloud. We're on the top of the cloud. Cloud should act as resistance. However, the front end of the cloud needs to flip around. That shows there's a slight bit of a correction coming. So on the daily chart, there's downside potential risk to 42.30 uh, on this ETF and upside at 44.65. So there's still some room to uh, trade that one on a breakout basis, for example. The tech, very uh, range bound for the time being. You actually need a significant breakout from there. So from all these, there's uh, about two or three good trades coming through in the ETFs. The others are just a sit and wait and see, either for it to pull back to support or break out from a uh, resistance areas. Materials have moved higher. We've had a nice buy signal on a MACD. Uh, pull back, retest the top end of the cloud, and now it's, it's trying to break past the resistance area there that high there so it's just broken past there if we look at what's happening on a weekly where the next resistance area is uh -huh. so we're fighting that cloud resistance so so far so good it, it keeps moving higher I'll remain long until it gets to the 49.94 area and then I would look at it very closely until it gets to the uh, 52.50 area so watch this one very closely it's in an uptrend MACD signal still looking strong um, support at the any weakness down to the support of the cloud yeah that would be an entry point but uh, watch this one it needs to break past 4816 and then the next target would be 4994 if it breaks past that and on a daily chart that looks like this 4816 is to break past that then our next target would be 4994 and then the other target there would be 5222 so these are kind of the levels to watch in terms of the trading of the material sector spider okay right and yeah we have support of the top in the cloud we've had a MACD signal recently so we are bullish on this one front in the cloud however is turning down so that needs to flip around again to show the uptrend uh, in the cloud but so this is slightly uh, potential you could trade this from where we are now up to resistance area there at the top end of the cloud there at that point there as well as the resistance area there at uh, 8179 so you could um, could see that uh, you know that uh, that sector uh, that uh, target as the uh, targets of the current rally 8054 and 8179 so there's quite a couple of points in these uh, ETFs to the upside uh, on consumer discretion for example and we saw materials as well and industrials all acting uh, very favorably okay the last two financial services ETF had a buy signal yeah very nicely close to key support at the top end of the cloud there we go. So that's the next level to watch for. I would be a buy around there. We should have a MACD sell signal coming soon. Th uh, coming soon, that could push it back down to 29 bottom in the cloud. But you should see a little bit of a rebound like that taking place. The resistance to the upside is that level 31.20. So there we're looking at upside resistance around that 31.20 area. What's uh, the weekly looking like? So much data to store here. I'm not sure why it's not loading completely. Um, we have top end of the cloud here. Yeah. 3119 would be a significant resistance area. So I'm going to highlight that. So your daily, your daily chart we trading up until about yeah 3121 is confluent. It catches nicely in. That's a major uh, weekly cloud chart resistance as well. So excellent chart. Um, I'm a buyer at 29 uh, 29 zone and I'm a seller at 31. 
So there's a, a good couple of points in, in that one there. Right, so I think we've touched all our ETFs. No, there's one. Estate, uh, real estate property uh, side. Very choppy ETF, not particularly exciting. Uh, as you can see, what is important here is on the top end of the clouds, fighting resistance there. So we need to see a breakout past that resistance. And then you'll see it moving higher to the top end of that uh, that resistance zone. Weekly, not uh, uh, the data on this one's not looking good uh, from a weekly chart perspective. So I'll have to cross check that data. But still, on the daily chart, we have a um, you know break. We need a breakout past cloud chart resistance. And in this case, you would probably watch for a MACD buy signal, which is kind of now. If you look at, I think it, there's a, yeah, we just had the MACD buy signal, so you could trade this one back up to 33.19 from 32.1. So there's a hundred something points in that one going forward. But just back to recap to the uh, Spider S&P 500, looking for a breakout here. After the breakout, look for the retest, downside, uh, downside risk to the top end of the cloud. And uh, upside risk, we now have to know that 2.11 or 2.13. So watch those figures this coming week. Uh, for trading, you know, those resistance zones. Okay, and uh, thanks until uh, next update. See you next week.